G'day everybody, it's me again. I've got this uh, Iveco Euro Cargo here. We're hoping to turn it into a new train truck. But uh, it's got some electrical gremlins issues, I would say you'd, you'd call it. Um, just about every goddamn system in the truck is bitching about something. Um, it's fairly interesting. These trucks actually have a battery isolator button. But anyway, yeah, she starts throwing all the codes for different systems. The leveling system, emergency braking, rear brakes, air pressure, can bust, the whole lot. I mean, a couple of those go away once the truck's warmed up. But, shit man, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough one. The speedo doesn't work either. There's all sorts of codes being thrown by the actual diagnostic computer. I will probably end up needing to get Iveco to come out to diagnose this with their magic machine because... Yeah, it's not happy. She's not happy at all. She's really not happy. Just about every code that freaking exists a man is being thrown, and multiple times too. Um, these trucks actually have an issue apparently where the insulation on the wiring was insufficient so it could rub through. Um, I do believe that's occurred in a couple of spots. I'm hoping maybe somebody um, who knows a little bit about, about Ivecos will see this video and be able to offer me some advice. Maybe um, even there's a magic bullet somewhere, if you understand what I'm saying. The vehicle is due to go for the pits tomorrow. We're going to get everything else checked out. So based on the fact that the chassis is sound and the rest of the vehicle is okay, I don't mind spending several thousand dollars if necessary to get it uh, up to scratch. Um, it does a couple of other weird things, like when you turn the indicator on, watch your volume starts beeping indicates a solid like I'd say that's supposed to flash because when you they flash on the outside and occasionally when you hit the indicator at the right time they will start to flash normally but uh, yeah it's just something horribly horribly wrong there um, I can't turn the lights on now because I've got the light switch removed but when you turn the lights on, um, apparently these buttons are supposed to change the brightness of the... Well, that's meant to be the trip meter, but that, that never appears because because it, it's missing. The kilometres, the number of kilometres the truck's done are actually missing from the dashboard altogether. Um, even the trip times in the trip computer are all, are, are all um, unrealistic, you know? Um, just strange things. That button there is supposed to uh, bring out the... Um, odometer and your trip meter I'm guessing and that one's meant to be the brightness of the back backlight um, doesn't seem to affect anything either so I don't know maybe there's a dodgy dash module here combined with some other problems there's the body computer on a freaking truck you know what I'm saying it's it's a bit much it really is a bit much um, and like when you see this main harness connector I'm gonna hit so, holy crap dude, that's a truck, why? And I can show you a little bit here maybe, that, is it the other side? Yeah, it's the other side. When the wires rub on each other, the insulation they used was insufficient, so it rubs through and you end up, yeah, you can actually see the copper's changed colour there from like electrolysis of the, you know, current flowing while exposed copper. It's kind of giving it that darkish colour. You bloody good looking, good looking truck. You can fix it. But yeah. It used to be a Pertec or an NZ. It was a hydraulic, a hydraulic fitters truck. Where you've got all these drawers and everything. Hydraulic fittings, nipples, parts, hoses, whatnot, and then a little workshop area at the back and of course a little crane. So uh, I'll leave it at that for the moment and see how it goes. I said I'm going to the pits tomorrow. Hopefully there's nothing else majorly wrong. And then if there isn't, we'll may end up sending it to Iveco if I can't find it myself. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Thanks for watching.